There's a Michael with us. Michael is going to be joining us as well. Uh, remember, we have two Michaels. We have Michael Owen who's going to be joining us and Michael Essien as well, who will be with us. And uh, we want to talk to both of them about uh, so much. Michael, are you there? I'm hey, here. there he is. Michael Owen, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us, Michael. It's my pleasure. Great to speak to you. How are we? Oh, we great, but I can imagine you even better. Um, you know, people are still suffering from the hangover of lifting the trophy after 30 years. That's right, yeah. I'm sure there are <laughs> some people, uh, some of us have got to get back to work and start on the new season. But no, it's been 30 long years, of course, for, for Liverpool to win the, the top flight title. First time ever to win the Premier League. I mean, who would have believed that? Liverpool have won so many trophies yeah. over the years, but it was the one that eluded them. So everybody is uh, so happy. And now they're so keen to, to try to retain it. How did you feel? I mean, as an ex-player who went for it for so many years, tried to get them that first, when you saw that, how did, how did what did you go through? Yeah, it was really strange because, you know, when I was growing up, Liverpool were the team to beat. Uh, mm. And then I you know, as I was getting closer and closer to the first team, Liverpool had slipped, no no question about it. They were languishing a little bit um, in positions that they had not been used to. Uh, and then I think I got into the team. We hadn't won much for, for a long period of time, but then we, we managed to win a lot of trophies. But the one trophy that we were desperate for, of course, was the Premier League trophy. Yeah. Uh, and then Frequently, the team went and won some amazing trophies, you know, Champions League uh, yeah. a couple of times, things like that. So there's no doubt about it. They they proved that they were a top team. They got back to the top table of football around the world. However, it was just that one trophy that was eluding them. And <laughs> finally, it's the one that the well, fans 30 won. years later, Michael. What about you? I mean, individually, as well as the teams that you've played for, you've won numerous awards in your career. What's your highlight? What stands out the most? Well, it's it's always hard to uh, to pick one moment. There've been so mm. many highlights. I think if I just picked a couple, I'd say I'd say breaking onto the scene uh, and scoring in the World Cup against Argentina was oh, sort yeah. of a moment that never leaves me. No matter what, people will still meet me and say that goal against Argentina in the World Cup. And I think partly because of the, the goal, it was such a such a goal. And then uh, and my age as well. I was only eighteen at the time, so. That announced me to the world, but then there were two or three other moments, uh, scoring two goals in the FA Cup final to beat Arsenal when we won five trophies in the year, yeah. and then it culminated in me winning the Ballon d'Or. That was a special season. Scoring a hat-trick mm -hmm. against Germany for England, beating them 5-1 was special as well. Oh, so many great moments. I, uh, I'm, just, I'm just sad that I'm no longer playing the game. Oh, Michael, we said you're no longer playing the game too. It was always a pleasure watching you do it. I think we've got uh, Gary on the line, and I wonder if we can put Gary on uh, while we're still chatting to Michael. Gary Maybert, of course, Tottenham Hotspur. You just, um, oh, Gary's just left, unfortunately. We just left him. Michael, before I do let you go, um, in introducing Gary, you just don't get players that stay in one team for as long as he did with Tottenham anymore. No, it, it happens quite rarely. I mean, if you're at a top team you know you, you look back at players like Jamie Carragher yeah. uh, Steven Gerrard of course left at the very end of his career um, and then you look at Manchester United some of those players that, that came through the Scholeses and Giggses and Gary Neville's of this world uh, but it is quite rare it really is and I think you've almost got to grow organically within a team and be at a top team as well I think that helps um, because there's no temptation to go elsewhere if you're at the top team winning yeah. trophies so it's, uh, it's not easy, but they're a, a very rare breed. And obviously, Gary Mabbitt was one of them. Before I let you go, Liverpool, are they doing it again? <laughs> I think so. I think so. I think they've got a great... It's like a, big, a big performance and a, a big team to beat them. I mean, they've been fantastic. So I think, yeah, I'm going to go for Liverpool. Michael, thank you so much for giving us your time. Fans in South Africa going absolutely nuts. They love you. Can't wait to see you on the telly. Great to speak to you. Thanks very much. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Owen, thank you so much for being a part of the show. Like I said, it could be better for you. It could move from this online platform with Cadbury and go all the way to tasting the action uh, by your favorite team, watching Tottenham Hotspur with Mourinho now in the lead. And I heard... Um, you know, that Bale has signed on and he's coming for the next season. You could be watching all of that live. Let's see.